When you think of German engineering, you might think of sports cars, beer, a country that is so old and so well developed. You'll also probably think expensive, but not today. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel for a new video. Right behind me here is my Mark 7 GTI and we've done a few videos on it recently. It's fun to work on it again. It's a great car, I love it. It's fast, comfortable, gets all the groceries and does everything that I need it to do. But I will say, upgrading this car, replacing parts on it and things like that, it can get very expensive. And I am all for buying genuine parts from the dealership, OEM parts, legit parts from Japan, legit parts from Germany, you know, recommended aftermarket manufacturers, all for it, love it. But sometimes a good deal is just too hard to pass up. And that is what we're gonna be working on today on the GTI with some AliExpress modifications and replacement parts that uh, I spent less than $40 on. So in the Mark 7 GTI here, you can see that you've got your window switch panel, which mine's totally fine. There's, there's really nothing wrong with it, but right here you can see a little bit of the chrome has chipped off from the rest of the switches. And it's one of those things where if it wasn't so cheap to replace it, it probably wouldn't bother me, but the fact that you can do it so easily, might as well get it done. And in our center console here, we have our shifter, which you can also get from AliExpress, as well as other pa switch panels in here. And right here on the right, we have our three switches, parking assist, steering parking assist. And we've got a blank spot right here. And on the Mark 7 GTI, you have to go into the radio and you, you go to air up your tires. You gotta go into the go into the radio, go into the settings, go into the car settings, and you gotta hit set tire pressure and blah, blah, blah. If I can do it with one push of a button, I mean, it's a no brainer, right? And this plastic area is also super easy to disassemble. So we might as well get it done. So right here, we have a new set of driver side window switches for your Mark 7 GTI and other golf platforms. I'm sure these are replaceable on pretty much every single car. And I mean, the look and feel of these is like, if you told me they were OEM, I'd probably believe you. And they all, they all feel good and you know, buttons press well. So we got this one and this is, this was I think $12. A new one of these from Volkswagen, close to 100. I mean, it's, it's silly how much cheaper this is compared to buying OEM. And then in here, we've got a three button set for our center console with the tire pressure set right here, as well as the steering assist for parking and the parking sensor assist as well. Again, feels OEM, feels brand new. The plastic feels great. Plug in everything. It even includes the wire harness that goes into the center console. It looks legit and everything. This was $10, I believe. So $40 to $50 for both of these. This is gonna be a replacement. This is going to be an upgrade, I guess. More OEM plus kind of stuff. I also picked up this, this would be in the video, but I don't have the whole set. I accidentally ordered just the USB plugs for this, as well as the harness. So stay tuned. This will be installed in the coming video and you guys will see what else I need for it. So believe it or not, as easy as taking apart the Mazda is, the Volkswagen is actually pretty easy to take apart too. The plastic is just kind of clip on. There's not really many screws in the interior um, and it's, it's fairly easy to work on. Like taking the door card off is pretty easy. Taking the center console out is pretty easy. There's actually less screws in the door card than there is in the Miata's door card, if that tells you anything. I know a lot of people scoff at German cars and how they're so hard to work on and so expensive, but I mean, you can get into one of these and you know pick up some little replacement parts. The AliExpress site has so much stuff for the GTI. Like a lot of it is trash, I will say that. And I've also gotten a few things on here that are from AliExpress and they still work, they continue to work. I won't buy like big things. Like I wouldn't buy a spoiler from AliExpress. Like stuff like that, I'm not buying. Like that's just a little too much for me. AliExpress Aero, eBay Aero. I get it, it has a place, but um, as someone who has done that before, I always regret getting it. And I always am more satisfied with the recommended aftermarket suppliers like Aerofab or Maxton or, or any of the other ones. But with everything on AliExpress, it's buyer beware. So buyer beware. 
We're gonna go ahead and start with our center console modification of adding in the three button panel instead of the two button panel. Alright, so here's our old one and here's our new one and like I said I couldn't tell you the difference they feel the same weight I mean they're essentially identical which is wild this one was like I said almost a hundred bucks this one was close to twenty dollars so really quite crazy Later in the void. Okay, as usual with car things, uh, it has escalated into a lot of, yeah, this is, this has become a process. So for $10, keep in mind, this is the effort that you're gonna have to go through. I took my depinning tool and depinned the two wires that were the same on this plug. This is the plug that goes to the uh, three, the two switch panel, and we're obviously converting it to a three. So we need two wires coming off that were in the original wiring harness, pinned them into the nine and 10 pins on this plug, which are the bottom right, hard to see, but the nine and 10 pins. And then on this end, we have a yellow wire, which I think is power. And we have this green wire with a pin on it. So this, has to pin into something. And weird forum posts, I had to dig deep, found that you pin them into the ABS module. Well, to get to the ABS module, you gotta go through the firewall. So I've removed my ABS heat shield, I have unplugged the ABS module, and I've got a clothes hanger that goes back. There is a small grommet. I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see this on camera, but. There's a small, small grommet right back there behind the ABS module. It's got a little uh, fabric flap. You flip the flap up, and there's a little rubber grommet on the firewall, and then you have to angle it down this way, shove it down in there, and then right back in here, you can see, hopefully, uh, right down there is our clothes hanger. So we've got it through. Now I need to run these wires into the engine bay with the clothes hanger and uh, then we'll, we'll go from there. But I'm gonna have to pin into the ABS module wiring harness, which shouldn't be too hard to do. I will have to take it apart. It's just kind of tight. So this video has turned into a much bigger project than I thought it would, but too deep into it now to stop. Okay, I've got them attached. Wish me luck. I'm gonna do this as slowly and gently as possible. All right. See, oh. <laughs> oh. Damn. It's right there too. Oh no. I think it's coming off. I just can't reach, I can't reach down there. Yep, it came off. I need like a pair of really long needle nose pliers. Oh, I got it. I got it. We got our wires. Oh my God, thank God. All right, I'm gonna run these, change my camera battery, and then we'll get back to it. All right, so we've got our green wire pinned in to number 41 on the ABS unit. And then in the interior, we pulled the yellow wire back out. It's wired in to the black and yellow wire 
Um, that's the only black and yellow wire I could find that was mentioned, and it was the only one in here that it could connect to. So I'm gonna hook everything back up and just make sure this works. Guys, wish me luck. Okay, uh, I've been at this for like another hour. I hooked everything up the same way, disconnected it, reconnected it, and guys, it works. Wow. Okay, so this is plugged in. We're hooked into this black and yellow wire here, and then the green goes to our ABS module in the front like I showed you, and then watch this. We hold it down. Tire pressures have been stored. I was genuinely about to give up. Like, oh. I don't know I don't know what I was doing wrong. I I don't know what was wrong. I re hooked everything back up. I depinned it, pinned it again. I'm just happy it works. This, so if you guys do this, if I did it a second time, it'd go much faster. But for a minute there I was like, wow, this totally wasn't worth any of the trouble at all for literally a button. Literally a button um in all this work, tearing apart this interior. Uh this video is not over. I'm gonna get the door panel off hooking the new window switches. That should be much easier, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I, I feel like I just wanna go to bed right now. It's like 12 o'clock at night already. And uh, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna crack open another beer and do the, do the window switches. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I'm gonna get all the interior cleaned up real quick and then, uh, and then we'll jump to the door panel. <laughs> that is gonna wrap things up for this video I'm so tired and I know I said at the beginning that like German cars were easier than most people think I, I stand by that it is true it's just the process of installing these the main thing was the process of installing the little three button panel was just super annoying even though it was like two wires only um, so yeah I don't know why it wouldn't work the first time but it worked fine the second time I did it um, and then yeah for replacing the window switch there's less like I said less screws than there are in the Miata um, and don't worry the Miata's fine it's resting on the hood vents the garage door uh, the Sun was beaming in so I need to I need to just close it but anyways uh, we've got our new window switches in we've got our three pan three button panel uh, for the shifter unit in the GTI, all for less than 40 bucks. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have found any cool things on AliExpress for your GTI or for your Miata. And stay tuned for the next AliExpress mod that we have coming whenever that arrives in months, apparently. So anyways, thanks so much for joining guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, go down below, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below. See you in the next one.